Hey everyone, in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to install the ControlNet extension for Stable Diffusion. If you don't have a Stable Diffusion installed yet, you can learn how to do it in my Stable Diffusion installation tutorial. Let's go to the AI folder we created in the previous tutorial. Then go to the Stable Diffusion Web UI folder. Click on the address bar and type CMD. This is going to open the command prompt with the path of the folder already selected. Now, we're going to type P IP space install space OpenCV Python. Then press enter. This is going to install the OpenCV library. If you get a message that there is a new release of PIP, you can update it by running the command provided. Now that we have our OpenCV install and PIP updated, go back to the Stable Diffusion Web UI folder. Here, we're going to find the file name webuiuser.bat. Double click it to run it. Once the process is done, a new tab with the web UI is going to open in your browser. But if you want to run it manually, you can also find this running on local URL where we can see this web address. Double click it to select it, then press Ctrl C to copy it and paste it in your browser. Now let's go to the extensions tab and click on the install from URL option. Without closing this tab, go back to GitHub and search for Ctrl Net. You can see this call Mikuvil SD Web UI Control Net. Go ahead and jump to it. On this page, click on the code button and then on the copy button to copy the URL. Let's go back to the Stable Diffusion tab and paste the URL we just copied. Then click the install button. Once installation is done, we're going to download the Control Net models. So let's go to Hugging Face and search for Control Net. We're going to select Ilias Vel Control Net. So let's click on that. Then go to the files and versions and double click the models to open it. These are large files of more than five gigabytes each. If you don't want to download all of them, you can download the open post and canny models for now, which are the most commonly used. Once the download is complete, let's go to our AI folder. Then go to the stable diffusion web UI folder, open the extensions folder, then the SD web UI control net folder. And finally, open the models folder. This is the folder where we're going to add the models we want to use with the control net, like the canny and open post files we downloaded. So cut it from your download folder and paste it in this folder. If you downloaded the other control net files, you will need to add them to this folder too. Now let's go back to the stable diffusion in our browser. Under extensions, click on the install tab. You can click on the check updates button in case there is an update. Then press the apply and restart UI button. If the extension is successfully installed, you will see a new section in the text to image tab called control net. If we open it, we can see all the control net options and under models, we can find the models we added to the models folder earlier. One recommendation is to use the same preprocessor as the model you are selecting. And this is how you install control net to help you on your ArchBeast projects. In the next video, I will show you how to use a stable diffusion and control net to improve your renderings, like the 3D people in your scenes. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.